Okay, we'll, we'll uh, begin Northern Kentucky's press conference with an opening statement from Coach Horn, and then we'll field questions for the players. I give credit to Houston. Um, I mean, there's a reason they're the number one team in the country. Uh, really, really physical and, and, and aggressive. Uh, you know, play, played without their best player in the second half tonight. But um, I'm, I'm unbelievably proud of our team. Um, the fight that we showed, you know, in, in a lot of ways, you, you know, it's, I don't think it's a stretch to say we outplayed Houston uh, tonight. We just, we just didn't make enough shots. You know, we had, had, had nine steals, uh, you know, against the number one team in the country. Uh, we were plus 10 in turnover margin, had 18 offensive rebounds. I mean, just a, a lot of things that you can point to to say we played really, really well, put ourselves in position to have a chance to win the game and just did not make enough shots. And, 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 and again, give them credit. They made two huge back-to-back -back threes, a sharp kid. Those are really big plays. They got, got a kind of a loose ball put back at a key time. Uh, she hit a big big step back at the end of the clock there late. So they, they made the plays they had to. But uh, I'm unbelievably proud of our guys. Uh, you know, I, I thought Chris Brandon was as, as good as anybody on the floor tonight uh, with how hard that he played. And so, uh, you know, it hurts to lose. We thought this was a game that, uh, you know, especially as the game went on, that we could win uh, and would win and uh, just it didn't make enough shots, man. Okay, we'll take questions for players. Uh, James, my name Inquiry. Either of you, just how much of how frustrated was it when the shots just weren't falling, and how much of that was Houston's uh, length and defense? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was frustrating a little bit, but we don't think about that during the game. You know, our coaches and players are all saying, "Keep shooting, keep shooting the ball." But we came to that game with the mindset to sling it. You know, let the ball loose and shoot it if you got a shot. So we were doing that all night just to see a few, you know, rim in and out or be close to going in. It hurts, but. Um, we just kept on shooting the ball, and we had that mindset the whole game. Up front. I'm Andrew Donaldson, yeah. USA Today, South the region. Um, just how do you process something like this, knowing you had Houston on the ropes at times in this game? Obviously, it came short. You know, There's only been one, one 16 upset in March. How are you guys feeling right now? Uh, I mean, I feel like we played pretty well. As you said, we had them on the ropes a few times. Like like Sam said, we just weren't making enough sh shots that we needed in the, in the stretch, you know. So I feel good about how we play. You just want to knock down shots. And, you know, both of you have both of you had some really big rebounds against you know, their their size, and just talk about the effort you guys had in the paint tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, CB does a great job, you know. Uh, the way he rebounds is just crazy, super vital for our team, and he was getting after it all night long. And the way he crashed opened up other lanes for us on the perimeter to get in there and get rebounds. And with how we um, came in that mindset of shooting the ball, we knew we were going to get long rebounds. So with CB crashing, it opened up lanes for the perimeter guys to go in there and get some big rebounds as well. Any more questions for the players? Okay, gentlemen, y'all are dismissed. Okay, we'll open the floor for Coach Horn. Just Coach, how much of the shooting struggles was it just one of those nights, and how much was their length and uh, defense bothering you guys? I mean, I mean, obviously, give Houston credit, right? They're they're a great defensive team, and and you know they they didn't make it easy, but you know at the same time, I felt like we got a lot of really good, clean, open looks that we usually make at a high high rate that that we didn't, and uh, you know for for us to hang in the game the way that we did, and with Marquez having the the, the tough offensive night that he had, uh, you know I, I kept thinking you know we were going to break through at some point, and enough of those were going to go down at the right time, and uh, you know we just we just weren't able to make them. Um, Calvin Sampson really praised you guys' defense, especially the number of turnovers you forced, and, and just talk about how you were able to bother them tonight. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, when the matchups come out, you know, one of the things you want when you're an underdog, and, and I think one of the things about this game is, like, you know, in my mind, we're not a 16 seed, right? And, and if, if you saw our league play this year, uh, you know, the top half of our league was, was really strong. And so, you know, I, 
but when you see the matchups come out, you know, you hope that your advantage, you know, will, will carry over into the game. Maybe it's something that the higher seed doesn't do. And then, and then we get Houston, who plays very similar, right, and is really good at turning you over and really good defensively. And so for us to play this game the way that we did, have a plus 10 turnover margin, get nine steals, um, you know, I, I think it says a lot to, to, to the toughness and the character that our guys have and, and, and just how good we are at, at what we do on the defensive end of the floor. Hey, Coach, it seemed like a good amount of fans made the trip. Um, any, any comment on their impact tonight? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I thought our crowd was great. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that's, that's good about our place is we, we get really good support. Uh, and, and uh, you know, we've got a long tradition of winning, uh, going back even to the Division Two days. And, and uh, so absolutely made a difference. And it kind of seemed like has happened sometimes in these situations that, uh, you know, the, the people that weren't wearing black and gold got behind us a little bit as long as they weren't in red uh, as well. And uh, it was great energy in the building. And just, you know, th this is the stage you want to be on. This is the one we want to be on. And, you know, I, I took this job to win in the NCAA tournament. I make no bones about that, about winning the conference tournament every year. We embrace that. Uh, that's much easier said than done. Uh, but that, that's why we're here. And I, I think we showed tonight that uh, not only with our following, but uh, the way our guys play, that you know, we're, we're getting closer uh, to being able to do that. Any more questions? OK, thank you. Right, thank you.